And until this day, people always wonder why France was so upset at Germany after World War I. But I can assure you, the reason being is not what you expect. Every day the same question. Why were the French so mad at the British after World War I? Well, I would always say I don't know. And those people believed it. <laughs> but actually I do know. I know everything. I was everything. It is time. After we defeat France, it will be ours. I think I have a way to break the formation. Well, what do you want to do, sir? We've been in a stalemate for a long time. I just say we push through and charge. No, no, that wouldn't work. Come over here. We'd be gunned down. I want you to attack from both sides so we can separate the army. At the Marne River, we should attack from the east and west. They can't possibly hold off both sides. All right, it's enough for today. Wait, where's everyone? General Foch, our spies have reported that they'll attack soon. We're heavily outnumbered and they can't retreat soon. Also, they're in a dangerous position. We only have 85,000 US troops on our side. You know what? Actually, say we wait. Let's wait and hope. We are in a bad defensive position right now. We will wait for reinforcements. Sir, with all due respect, are you crazy? People will die. Our lives are at stake here. Lieutenant, it is better for a few men to die for a country rather than losing our own. Lives will be lost and sacrifices will be made. Just get to your point, sir, please. The point is, the end result will be rewarding. The day was devastating for the French, as it could be somewhat summarized in this way. I am Germany. I am France. Rock, paper, I decay LOL. Once again, I must advise you, we are at a weak point. If Americans don't come by tomorrow, we will be wiped out. My command still stands. We wait and we hope. Just for your information, the spies we sent are back, safe and sound. All but your best spy, George Carter. Okay, I have to pretend I'm one of them. Who are you? I've been assigned under General Johannes Bell. Well, since you are new, I will assign you to your quarters. Follow me. Here you are, sir. And what did you think about the battle today? We captured a French commune even with the third regime of the US trying to fight us. We, we captured it? That's great. I'll see you tomorrow morning to discuss battle plans with the general. Chris, I'm home. Chris? Chris? Oh my god, Chris! Chris, oh my god! It's just a nightmare. Okay. I'll, I'll go check. 
Sir, I have a question to ask. Yes, what do you want? Is there any status on the city, uh, Quint, here? Well, it's currently not occupied by the Germans right now. Thank you, sir. Oh my goodness gracious! I knew it! The Americans! They finally came! I knew it! I knew it! We are gonna win this war! I'm gonna go check my troops. Attention! Wait, I'm playing Clash Royale. No, dude, seriously, like, he's coming, stop. At ease. I love you guys. On July 18th, the Allies launched a counterattack on the Germans. The two American divisions battled seven German divisions, but the Americans captured 3,500 enemies and 11 kilometers of land. Another great victory was with the 32nd Division, where they crushed the German resistance of 7,900 men. The city of Sergi, which is occupied by the German, was attacked by the American 42nd Division with a different change in possession four times. Between August and September, the Germans struck a stall. However, a French division and the 32nd American Division battled together for a long time. Are we done yet? Soon, the Allies captured the important city of Juvigny on August 30th, 1918. Got a musketeer behind it to back it. Sorry for interrupting, generals. I have a question. What do you want? Who are you? Private Carter, George Carter, sir. Is it true that we're gonna burn all neighboring French cities, including Quent? Yes, we are. <laughs> I mean, Quent? What about Quent? Something's fishy. Uh, no, no, General. I just think that it's extremely cruel for you to burn French cities in fire. No, Private. It's only fair. P please, General. Don't do it. Why do you care anyways? Well, it doesn't matter. Because your squadron will be the one burning the village. General. Yes. I have received a number of casualties for us and the Germans during the war. For our side, we have 95,000 casualties, where the Germans have 168,000 casualties. The Germans are pushed all the way back to where they started from their campaign. That's great. I think we should stop the counterattack now. Stop the attack? We're doing great. Is something wrong? It's George. He was one of my best friends. We need to stop the attack and at least get some time to find him. I myself will lead a group of people to go and search for him. As a general, I command you to write a letter to stop the counterattack. Give me two days. I will be back. Uh, what can I do? This has to be a way. Well, it's not the best, but I'll try. I couldn't find him. I think it's time we turn to military action. I'll call this the 100th day offense. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, we have burnt many cities, and I commend you for your duty. And today shall not be any different. We are burning down the city of Quint. Vamanos! Wait, no, that's not right. Alan Z? Alan Z? Is it Alan Z? Alright, Alan Z! Attack! I want you to burn every part of this village. Is everything okay? Get away from me. Wait, George, is that you? Chris, we need to get out of here quick. They're gonna burn down this village. Really? What? What? Hey, what are you doing? Uh, uh, I'm taking him captive. Oh. We aren't taking captive, Charlie. I want you to shoot him. No, please. It's okay, George. Do this for your country, George. Not to do this. Alright. Sorry, man. Good job, Private. Fine, come out soon, or else I'm telling the general. 
Lives will be lost and sacrifices will be made. The point is, the end result will be rewarding. How could you do this to innocent people? Eat dirt! Follow me. Please, take a seat. Today, we have gathered to discuss the terms of this war treaty. Please review these terms. And if there is an issue, please, let's discuss. Sir, with all due respect, you want us to repay all damages and demilitarize a branch of our military? That is too cruel. No, General. It's only fair. Up until this day, I can never forget the events that happened in the First World War. You see, I know everything. I just have to hide it for you. Hey Grandpa, I'm learning about World War One. Do you know anything about it? Yes, son. I know everything about it. 